FBI agent indicted for a false statement in Lavoy Finicum shooting death. An FBI agent has been indicted on federal accusations that he lied about firing shots at Robert Lavoy Finicum in 2016 when officers arrested leaders of the Malhor National Wildlife Refugee Occupation. The charges stem from a federal investigation into mystery bullets, quote, fired before Finnecum was killed by Oregon State Troopers in Harney County. The agent will face allegations of making a false statement with intent to obstruct justice, according to sources familiar with the case, Oregon Live reports. The indictment stems from a more than a year-long investigation by the Inspector General of the U.S. Department of Justice. The agents will be in identified when he's summoned to appear in U.S. District Court in Portland at 1.30 p.m. Wednesday. Investigators said a member of the FBI's elite hostage rescue team fired at Finnecum as his 2015 Dodge pickup truck crashed into a snowbank at a roadblock on US 395. Finnecum had just uh, sped away from a surprise traffic stop on a rural highway as the occupation leaders traveled off the ref, uh, refugee to a community meeting January 26, 2016. The Oregon investigators determined the FBI agent fired at Finnecum twice as he left his truck, hitting the vehicle on its roof and missing on the second shot. But none of the hostage team members reported that they discharged their firearms. Federal law forbids knowingly and willfully making a false, fictitious, or fraudulent statement or representation on concealing information. That general uh, agent's bullets didn't hit Finnecum 54, an Arizona rancher who was the spokesman for the armed takeover of the federal sanctuary. In Oregon, it was Oregon State Police who killed Finnecum. He was shot three times after he emerged from his truck and reached for his inner jacket pocket where police claim he kept a loaded handgun. One of those bullets pierced his heart, according to an autopsy. Oregon State Troopers noted multiple rifle casings where the FBI agents had been standing during the shooting. During a later investigation, the Dutchess County Sheriff's Office determined one agent fired two shots at Finnecum's pickup truck after it crashed into a snowbank. The team of federal agents then covered up the shooting by removing the casings, the sheriff alleged. Less than two months after the shooting, the FBI acknowledged that a federal agent was under investigation for firing shots and four other members of the FBI team were under investigation for covering up the gunshots. The status of the investigation into the four other FBI team members is unclear. Finnecum's widow, ja uh, Jeanette Finnecum, has said she plans to sue Oregon State Police and the FBI for civil rights violations in her husband's death, reports Oregon Live. The suit will allege that the, st uh, that the state police and the FBI used excessive force in the confrontation that could have ended peacefully and that improper police procedures and lack of communication between state police and FBI agents at the scene contributed to his death, her lawyer said. Lily Dane is a staff writer for the Daily Sheeple. Her goal is to help people to wake the flock up. Um, this was a setup and this was done through Obama and Hillary. This was a total takedown of, down of this guy. They shot him. They were ready to shoot any which way you twisted it and turned it. They were ready to kill this guy, take him out. They were going to take him out. And that's what the whole thing was. It could have been, he, he wasn't reaching for his gun or anything. 
they were shooting at him before he even uh, he just made it out of the vehicle they were already shooting at him it was a it was ordered it was ordered by obama and hillary because of these land rights that's what trump is trying to allow the people to use the land and not make it federal property and that's what they were protesting about but a lot of the dumb liberals were against this let us know what you think in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.